Let's take a look at zooming on a TI Inspire CAS. First one we'll take a look at is uh, y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Um, if you're not already back this page, you can either press on or menu. I think you both will take you back there. Um, at least menu, I think, will. And we want to choose graph. So we down arrow to graph and press enter on it. Now, if this pops up, um, you can uh, just escape out of it. And you probably will be sitting at F1 equals. If not, keep pressing your tab until you see that. And then we'll put in our X squared. So I'll press our X key, uh, X squared minus 5X plus 6. And then press Enter. And that gives us our graph. Now we see it's going down a little bit below the x-axis, but maybe we can't see exactly what's what's going on with this. Um, we can use zooming to help us figure that out. So if I um, choose menu, you see our fourth one. If I down arrow to this, it says window zoom. Now if I right arrow, pop up these, we're going to take a look at zoom in. So I can down arrow to zoom in and press enter on it. I'll show a quick way to do that in the next uh, next time I do that. Now it's asking us for the center. So I want to move my cursor over to where I want to zoom in at. So I'll put it right here. Now this is going to be my new center. So when it zooms in, it'll zoom in based upon where it's at. So I press enter and see it zoomed in. Now each time you press enter, it'll zoom in by another factor. So press there, it zooms in. Another one zooms in, another one zooms in, and so forth. Well, now I've zoomed in so much I can't see anything. I'm go up to Menu. Now before I down arrowed to the fourth one and then I right arrowed, you can simply press the numbers in front of it. See the four there? If you press the four, that'll choose that. And Zoom Standard, the fifth one, is how we always set it back to our standard viewing window. So if you just press five, then it'll set it back to your standard viewing window. Now I will zoom in. Now let's take a look at zoom box. So if I do menu, and I want you to press 4 for window zoom, and you know zoom box is our second one. So I'll press 2 because it's got number 2 in front of it. Now it's asking us for the first corner. So I'm going to do my up arrow, left arrow. You may have to do different. Depends upon where your cursor is on your screen. But put put it right about right there and then press enter one time. Now it'll ask us for the second corner. So if I do a down arrow and I do a right arrow, it's kind of hard to see, I know, but um, it's drawing a little box around um, there and a little dotted box. Now once I get it to my bottom right hand corner, when I press enter it'll zoom in just what I drew a box around. So now if I press enter, it zooms just in on that part. Very nice feature. Um, it gives you total control over what you're going to zoom in on. Um, now again, to set it back, you do uh, menu 4 for window zoom, and then 5 for zoom standard. That sets back to standard view window. Now let's take a look at our other one. Our other one is y is equal to x squared minus 400. Well, I'll press tab to get back to here, and then I'll press my up arrow to choose F1. And I'll press my uh, delete over and over to kind of clean that out. There we go. And I'm going to do X squared. So I'll do max key, and then X squared minus 400. And press enter. Now notice it's um not coming back, but um, it's not up here in the upper right hand corner you don't see a little wheel going or anything um, so that tells us something well tells us maybe that it isn't our viewing window so if we choose zoom by I press menu press 4 next option we're going to take a look at is zoom out so if we press 4 again the numbers in front of zoom out then it'll, it'll uh, choose a zoom out feature now it's asking us for the center and um, I'm going to move my center to the origin 
And I'm using my arrow keys here, but you could equally. Um, this is a mouse, like a mouse controlled uh, feature, though I don't have much luck with it with my clumsy fingers. But um, you could equally use that to move to the middle. Once you get there, you press enter, and it'll zoom in based upon that. Now I'm still in, uh, or zoom out of me. I'm still in zoom out mode, so if I press enter one more time, it'll zoom out by another factor. Now once you get to that point, you could change zooming um, strategies if you want. Maybe I'm interested in the x-intercepts. So I could choose uh, menu, choose 4 for window zoom, and choose 2 for zoom box. Now I could use my um, arrow keys to go over to it, but let me show you if you can control this, um, how it would be. So like I'm moving this around, that's what you do with this little pad here. If I put it right here and I click once, then I come down here and click down here, then it'll zoom in based upon the box I just drew. So very nice feature. Um, so if you can get used to this uh, this interface and works very very well for uh, zooming. Okay, now I'm going to press my menu. I'll choose four for window zoom. And I'm going to choose 5 for zoom standard. Set it back to my standard view window. Okay. The last um, method I'm going to show you for changing your, your view of the window. If you press menu, and we're going to do 4 for window zoom. You notice the first one says window settings. Well, if I press enter on that, then it says X min, X max, X scale, Y min, Y max, Y scale. You can set these yourself. So if I do my backspace, let me put in negative 40. And I do my down arrow, backspace, I'll put in a positive 40. Down arrow, backspace, I'll put in 10. Down arrow. And remember I said y is equal to x squared minus 400? That minus 400 at the end. When you got a number at the end, it shifts it up or down. So that negative 400 means it shifted down 400 units. So let me start this at uh, negative 500. Down arrow, and I'll have it go up to a positive 100. Down arrow, and I'll set the, I'll do a backspace and set the, that to 100. Down arrow, and see, OK is highlighted now, so I'll press Enter. And now it gives us this. You notice my x axis starts at negative 40, goes to positive 40, and goes by tens. It's negative 40, negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. My y-axis starts at negative uh, 500, goes up to 100, and goes by hundreds. So negative 500, negative 400, negative 300, negative 200, negative 100, 0, 100. Uh, very nice uh, feature. Now if you go into the, the settings again, if I press menu, choose 4, and then I'll press 1 for window settings. If I do a backspace, let me put 50 in here. Now down arrow to the OK, and press Enter. It gives me an error. It says invalid values, minimum must, must be smaller than maximum. So it recognizes there's a problem there. So you do a backspace, and you can now then change this to a negative 40, and press Enter, and it works fine. Then. And again, don't remember, or don't remember, don't forget, I've been creating too many of these videos today, uh, to set it back to your standard viewing window, you do Menu, choose 4, and then you choose 5 for zoom standard. And that's zooming on a TI Inspire CAS.